In this video, we will go over the equipment and procedures necessary to change commercial truck tires using the Tire Spider mobile tire changing system. First, we'll go over the equipment that is included with your Tire Spider system. First, we have the Tire Spider, the Control Whip Assembly, the Chicken's Foot Bead Keeper, clamp feet and cam bolts for mounting the Tire Spider, the mount roller for mounting tires, the spider iron for demounting tires, and rubberized tape for the clamp feet. Also included with your tire spider, you get a tire spider bead breaker with air hydraulic pump, the safety inflation cage, and a cart with a built-in filter lubricator regulator. Some of the equipment that you'll need that isn't included with the tire spider. For maintenance, you'll need a pair of scissors, a 5 seconds Allen wrench, and a 5 16 Allen wrench. For changing tires, you'll need a valve stem tool and your favorite tire iron. I like the Ken Tool T45A 36 inch tire iron. Prior to changing tires with the tire spider, you'll have to install the clamp feet. To do that, take your 5 16 Allen wrench and remove the top bolt from the center of the tire spider and remove the arm and air motor assembly from the base. Insert the clamp feet into the slots on the side of the base until the bolt holes line up with the slot in the gear assembly. Now insert the cam bolts and tighten with the same 5 16 Allen wrench until it's snug. Make sure you don't over tighten it. Once the cam feet are installed, give it a quick spray with WD-40 to make sure it's well lubricated. Now replace the air motor and arm assembly. And replace the bolt and tighten. To protect the wheel from marring or scratching, we provide rubberized tape for the clamp feet. Use your scissors to cut three pieces of tape about two inches long. Then stick the tape to the foot where it makes contact with the wheel. This is the spider iron demount bar. On it is a wear piece that makes contact with the wheel and protects it from marring as it removes the tire. This piece will eventually wear out so keep an eye on it so it can be changed out. To change out the wear piece, Use the 5 30 seconds Allen wrench to loosen the screw. Then use the Allen wrench and a mallet to gently tap the wear piece off of the spider iron. To replace the wear piece, slide the new piece into the slot and lightly tap it into place with the mallet until the screw hole lines up. Then replace the screw with the 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. In this video we're using our demo unit that has over 4500 tire changes on it. To get started, attach the air source to the FLR on the cart. Make sure the regulator is set to between 90 and 120 PSI and there's adequate oil in the oil reservoir. To use the bead breaker, attach the hose from the air hydraulic pump to the bead breaker. 
Then connect the hose from the cart to the pump. To adjust the height of the bead breaker, pull out the keeper pin, then lift the bead breaker to the correct height. Then move it underneath the tire. For the inside bead, make sure the outside paddle makes contact with the rim and the inside paddle makes contact with the sidewall of the tire. Depress the foot pedal until the inside bead is broken. For the outside bead, adjust the bead breaker so the paddle on the inside makes contact with the rim and the outside paddle makes contact with the sidewall. And again to press the foot pedal. To change a tire, first connect the control whip to the air source. Take the tire spider from the cart and hang it on the rim so that one of the feet is at the 11 o'clock position. Then rotate the arm assembly counterclockwise to tighten the feet to the rim. Connect the control whip to the air motor and rotate so the nose piece is at the 12 o'clock position. Make sure both beads are thoroughly lubricated. Insert the spider iron between the tire and the rim so the wear piece makes contact with the rim. Then lever out and down so the slot in this spider iron fits over the nose piece and secure it with the clasp pin. Insert your tire iron just to the left of the spider iron and lever down and to the left. Rotate the tire spider clockwise so the first bead separates from the rim and continue to rotate until the nose piece is at the 6 o'clock position. Remove the spider iron and reach in and grab the second bead pulling out and up over the nose again securing it with the clasp pin. Insert the tire iron to the right of the spider iron and lever up and to the right. Then activate the tire spider till the tire is removed from the rim. Remove the spider iron and replace it with the mount roller. There are two adjustment settings on the mount roller, one for 22.5 inch tires and one for 24.5 inch tires. Insert it into the nose piece and push the clasp pin into the hole that indicates the correct size. Lubricate all bead surfaces and bring the tire at an angle to the rim. Ah! 
Rotate the mount roller to the 5 o'clock position. Press your foot against the bottom of the tire and begin rotation so the mount roller is forced over the first bead as it rotates. Continue rotation until the mount roller is at the 11 o'clock position. Place the chicken's foot just to the left of the clamp foot and rotate until the first bead clears the rim. Continue rotation until the mount roller is at the 9 o'clock position. Remove the chicken's foot and use the tire iron to pry the second bead over the mount roller. Rotate up to the 11 o'clock position and put your chicken's foot just to the left of the clamp foot again. Then rotate until the tire is mounted and continue rotation until the mount roller is at the 12 o'clock position. Remove the mount roller. And remove the air source. To remove the tire spider, use the chicken's foot to depress the ratchet release lever and hold it down. Then rotate the drive arm clockwise to loosen the feet. Then the tire spider can be removed. As an added safety measure, mount the tire spider safety inflation cage prior to inflation. To mount it, remove it from the cart, set the cage in front of the tire, and drape the chains over the top and behind the tire. Cross the chains beneath the tire and pull through the eye holes. The tire is now ready for inflation. It's critical during a steer tire change that adequate lubrication is applied and these procedures are followed. Failure to adequately lubricate or follow these procedures could result in damage to the tire spider components. For steer tires, break the bead and mount the tire spider the same as a rear tire. First make sure all surfaces are well lubricated. When you insert the spider iron, use your foot to push the bottom of the tire into the drop center of the wheel. It's very important that the bottom of the outside bead remains in the drop center. Insert your tire iron. and rotate until the first bead is clear and the spider iron is at the 6 o'clock position. If the tire spider binds up too much, reverse the rotation back to 12 o'clock and ensure that the bead opposite of the spider iron is in the drop center. Reach in and grab the second bead with the spider iron, then rotate to the 8 o'clock position.
Insert the tire iron to the right of the spider iron and continue rotation until the second bead is clear and the spider iron is at the 12 o'clock position. Then remove the tire. Remove the spider iron and replace it with the mount roller. Lubricate all surfaces of the wheel and the tire. Roll the tire into position and allow the mount roller to clear the bead when rotated. When the mount roller gets to the 12 o'clock position, push the top of the tire over the drop center of the wheel and rotate till the bead clears and the mount roller is at the 9 o'clock position. Then use the tire iron to pry the outside bead over the mount roller. Rotate to the 11 o'clock position. Place the chicken's foot as far down as it will go and insert the tire iron into the drop center of the wheel and pry up so that the outside bead of the tire is over the drop center. Rotate until the tire is mounted. Remove the mount roller. and the tire spider and the tire is now ready for inflation to dismount a tire off the truck after the bead is broken mount the tire spider on the side of the wheel closest to the drop center Apply lubricant and insert and secure the spider iron. Insert the tire iron to the left of the spider iron. And rotate till the first bead is clear. Remove the spider iron and use the tire iron to pry up the top bead so the bottom bead can be grabbed with the spider iron. Once secured, 
insert the tire iron to the left of the spider iron. And rotate until the second bead is clear. Now remove the spider iron. And the tire can now be removed. To mount a tire off the truck, Insert the mount roller then lubricate all bead surfaces of the tire. Lift the tire over the air motor and clear the mount roller with the first bead. Then pry the second bead over the mount roller. Place the chicken's foot in position and put some weight on the sidewall of the tire. And rotate until the tire is mounted. Remove the mount roller, and the tire spider, and the tire is ready for inflation. Now I will demonstrate a full speed tire change using the tire spider in about 3 minutes.
Thank you for watching this Tire Spider training video. If you have any questions about Tire Spider, please visit our website at tirespider.com.